I'm number one, this is Split Can Gamer. Um, it's time to start a new Let's Play in October, and I'm hoping that this will be sort of the long edition Let's Play that I've done compared to the last two ones I've done in the past year. Uh, you may have noticed that we are doing this on the good old Wii, and our next game is going to be... Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Uh, the reason that I'm choosing this game is because, honestly, this is the first Kirby game I've ever played on my own. And with the recent announcement of the remake coming to the Switch, I figured it would be best to play the original. And because it has a very simple layout to play with just the Wii Remote on its side, I figured it would be best to play this game. Of course, this was the game that introduced Bandana Waddle D, and like I said, well not like I said, because it's been regarded as the best Kirby game a mere 11 years later. Alright, so as you can probably tell, I've already beaten the main game, and there's an extra mode that, honestly, I never really finished because of the last boss, but I figured it would just make the most sense to replay this whole game, since Really, it's been a long time since I last played it. So we get our cutscene on the planet Popstar. See Kirby carrying a cake, King Deity, and the series introduction to Bandana Wildy chasing, and then Knight's just reading a book. And then an interdimensional portal comes out of the sky. Crashlands. They're all suspecting the ship. this. Alright, so it looks like 120 gears are missing and the pieces of this alien ship are separated and there are five in total. Of course, Kirby being Kirby wants to help this alien out. <laughs> Looks so happy. Alright, so it seems all the parts are all around Planet Popstar and we have to go get them. Adventure Ho! Alright, so our first world is open. I really want to go... So this is our spaceship we have to collect, the Lore Star Cutter. That's essentially where we have to go. If we go in here, we basically go inside and talk to basically our whose name is Magalore. Hey Kirby, so you haven't seen any huge spaceship parts lying around, have you? As you probably noticed when my Lord Star Carter clashed here in Dreamland, a bunch of stuff broke off and went flying everywhere which way. The oars, the wings, five very important parts have all gone missing. I also lost all 120 of my energy spheres. My poor ship is in shambles. Anyways, I'm going to stay here and try to repair the war as best as I can. But I could sure use some help tracking down on the missing parts. Yeah, 
So that's basically the gist of the story. Kirby is helping Magalore, this little alien guy, to rebuild the War Star Cutter. Probably depends on how much we're gonna get tonight because uh, I have to go back to work tomorrow. So we're off to level one cookie country. And because it, we're starting up the game, we unlock stage one. And there are three energy spheres to collect. So this game pretty much gives us the basics of what happens when we have four players here, but I only have like three Wii remotes and only two of them are working, including the one I'm using right now. Press any button on the sync Wii remote, quick join, hold the minus button for a quick quit, yeah. So this is sort of like the tutorial level, as it pretty much just gives us the inside of how to play. So the one button is to basically swallow enemies and then press again to shoot them out. Alright. So then when we swallow enemies, we press down and we get Kirby's trademark copy ability as we get his iconic sword, and we basically play around with that. Kane's controls are really nice. It's been years since I've last played this over a decade. All right, so we double tap the right and then jump. And then we repeatedly tap the two buttons to jump, hover over. Oh boy. Alright. So we press the down button to go through open bridges. Jump over. Because we need keys to open doors, and we have our first energy sphere. We're scattered across the land, try to find all the ones that are hidden. Well, that one wasn't so hidden. And then when we're done with the copy ability, we press the minus button. So you shake the Wii remote, and then, oh, just suck harder, and then press... So we basically hold the one and shake the Wii remote to basically suck up large enemies. we get the gimmick of this game is that we get the ultra ability starting with ultra sword which basically demolishes everything in its in its way all enemies and stones are not safe and we get a pretty awesome and we get all kinds of blades that Kirby can use when having the ultra sword and as you can see at the little meter, we have a limited amount of time to use this ability. Even a bamboo sword. Oh, and we have an interdimensional portal. And of course, once we lose the Ultra Sword ability, we can't get it back. Alright, so these are sort of running levels, so we got it out. So we basically got to outrun the screen, essentially. Alright, 
So it looks like we have a boss fight coming up. So we're now going to use the fire ability and... Alright, so now we're going to fight this boss, the Spear Doomer. Alright, so the Spear Doomers are kind of like the main, one of the main enemies in the game. Uh, and it's dead. They're easy for right now, but they will get harder. So we now have all of our, and we get our Max Tomato, which would revive all of our health. Now we have all our Energy Spheres from this level. And then this is our ending stage, and that's it for the first stage of the game. Now we gotta get the time. Alright, two. Alright, extra life. So we have nine lives now after completing the first stage. And also a side note, no matter how many lives you collect, every time you restart the game, it'll reset back to seven, so... Probably going to be tricky for the amount of time I'm going to play for each session. Alright. Alright. So now I swallowed up the enemy because now we have the leaf ability. It's honestly a lot of fun to use. So lively here. All right, so now we get a new copy ability, blades. Which, well, cutter. Yeah, that's what it's called. Why did I call it blades? So cutter is basically kind of like a boomerang, essentially. Hold the one button, it'll spin faster and get stronger. blows up any enemies or hard blocks that gets in our way. And the stars indicate how much much use of the cannon we have. Alright, well we found one. And that cannon's gonna blow up whenever it turns red. Okay, we got the first one. And enemies will respawn. Respawn. Alright, so next, we have Needle, which will basically open up spikes. This is our Max Tomato, which is basically like our 100% recovery on health. Now we get Beam, which basically fires projectiles. Uh, we 
go in here. Alright, well, we have our beam. Oh. Alright, this is that. We have a mini boss. Giant egg. This guy be. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta be wary of the attack pattern. Alright. And then if you could suck really hard, you could use the boss's copy ability and move forward. If you hold that, you'll charge up your attack. Wait, I missed one. Yeah, it, I think if you go out of order, it could tell you which copy abilities that you're missing. Oh my god. I'll probably have to go back and check, but... I don't know if I have time tonight. Because I have to go back to work tomorrow, because today I basically got... Oh yeah, I missed one. Okay, so... Alright, so it looks like I'll have to go back and get it. Ah, oh, two again! I'm gonna try to get to the top somehow. Alright. Alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna just stop at this part. When we come back, I'm gonna do some off-screening, and hopefully I'll get this stupid energy sphere back. See you guys next time. Bye.